welcome back for another video tutorial on how to use Microsoft Publisher for our basic designs. Today we will show you how to flip your text, also referred to as mirroring an image. We know that some students would like to print the text on several materials using a transfer paper. In this video we will show you how to do it. Open Microsoft Publisher. If you have another version of Microsoft Publisher on your computer, the layout of the page may look different, but you should be able to work anyway. Since the process is very similar, please note that if you are going to print a picture on wood or other porous material you don't need to flip your image. Mirroring is most often used for words and not pictures. Open an A4 blank document on Microsoft Publisher. Go to the Insert tab on the top left of the ribbon. Then choose a word art. Now in the space provided type your text. I will type Ambulance. Choose also the font you like by pressing on this drop down arrow. You may wish to make your text look bold or underlined. I will let it as it is. Plain and simple. Then when you're ready left click on the OK button. Now let us zoom in so we can have a better view of our design. I will change my shape fill to red. Then I will select the shape effects button and turn off any shadows in my design. To do so, click on shadows and the select no shadows. Now let us flip our image. Select your design. Then on the top ribbon you will see a group of buttons. Go to the Arrange menu and choose Rotate. Here you'll notice that you can rotate your design in several angles. For us, to be able to print this design on a heat transfer sheet and then print it back on our material, we need to choose Flip Horizontally. Remember that you should make your design according to the dimensions you need. So it will fit your project properly. I will enter my dimensions as we did in the previous videos. You may wish to enter your dimensions directly from the Dimension tab. However I like to enter my dimensions using the rectangle system as we did in the previous videos. The advantage of using this system is that once you have a rectangle that serves as a guide then you can play with your design. Just by dragging it as you like it. Take your time, and make sure you make this step correctly. Save your project. When you are ready send the file to a local stationery. Please note that you should print your work using a laser jet printer or a photocopier. Usually, most of the home printers are inkjet printers. These are not suitable for us to use on a transfer sheet material. Take your printed design at school. Your teacher will show you how to transfer your image on a piece of wood using an iron. Hope you enjoyed watching this lesson. Now, go ahead and amaze us with your designs. Till the next time, goodbye.